Vishant is saying, when we are listening to someone or learning from him, can we really be other way? Yes, of course. The fact of the matter is, Vishant, you cannot learn if you are not alone. Learning, real learning happens only in aloneness. If your mind is full of this or that, how will you learn? Right now, as you listen to me, are you also thinking of something? What will happen if you start thinking of something? Will you be listening to me anymore? Will you listen to me anymore? When you are thinking, really think, can you listen to me? The more is thought, the less is The more alone you are, the more is the listening against <coughs> learning. And learning, learning is not only about gathering something from somebody. Learning, in fact, is about knowing. Let's say you are just walking. Even then you are learning. You are with your book. Unless you are alone, it will be impossible to relate to the book. If there are thoughts about examination and marks, it will be very difficult for you to read. If you have gone to your book because the examination date sheet has been put up and you are afraid that you do not know much in this subject. So you must read. When it is out of this motivation that you have gone to your book, then you will really not be able to study. Because the thought of marks and examinations will be crowding your mind. <coughs> Real learning takes place when you go to the book motivelessly. But we don't do that, right? We don't do that. We go to the book just to get marks, right? Have you ever gone to your book without any purpose? Have you done that? You don't do that, right? Right? Real. But when you do that, that's the real thing. Most of the times we go to a book because we either want marks, read, or because we are afraid that we'll flunk. Fear. Am I right? And hence, there is no right relationship between ourselves and the book. <laughs> and then we wonder why studies are so boring. Studies are boring because we are not free in the mind, because we are not alone here. The wrong relationship will always be boring. And if we find life boring, that means we do not have the right relationship with life itself. And there are many amongst us who might be finding life itself is very boring. Life is boring. Life is not boring. Your mind is boring. Boredom is there in mind. Life is beautiful, exciting. It has a great potential. Life is a big party. But boredom is here. Because it's always crowded with this and that. Hmm? Are things with me here? Hmm. Listening and hearing. Hearing is a very mechanical process. Even this is hearing. Even this is in some way receiving the same PM waves and audio waves that your eardrums and your retina is receiving. Are you getting it? Isn't it receiving the very same waves that your senses are receiving? It's receiving them, right? But will it ever understand anything? So what is the difference between listening and hearing them? 
In listening, there is a dance of intelligence. There is an understanding involved. Hearing, whereas, is just the collection of these waves, the convergence of these waves, and these waves travel mechanically via the neurons to your brain. And the brain makes some kind of sense out of the waves. It creates a word. It creates a word. After all, you are not sending a word to me, right? You are sending just a wave. The word is created by my... Who creates the word? The brain. That is hearing. But to really understand, that is... That is... Really understand, that is... Listening. That is what this can be. Even the most advanced computer can never listen. It can never understand what is being said. It can analyze, but never understand. 